Greetings friends, uh, Jaws Paul here. We're playing Hades. I thought I would do a run today that kind of illustrates just kind of all the basic decisions that we make in Hades and the decisions that I make and, and why I make them. Just to kind of go through it, I did this, uh, I did a video like this back in like 2019 or something. So uh, it's, this is, this is an idea that I had a while back, but I thought I'd do it again. So I'll be skipping most of the room combat. Um, these are going to be kind of the, the higher level um, decisions that I make. Starting with the mirror, um, I've gone over the mirror before, but basically the most important things to me are three death defiances, uh, two dashes, ruthless reflex is good, but it's kind of risky, high risk, high reward, boiling blood for more damage. Um, typically I'd go infernal soul, stygian soul is fine though, um, just depends on what you prefer. If you're going for a cast build, just know that stygian soul is overall, has the potential to be better, but might end up being worse if you don't find um, a cast stone or two. Deep Pockets, I think, is an easy choice. Golden Touch is nice, but um, especially if you're learning the game, if you're kind of, you, know, you need to help making these decisions, um, having more gold at the beginning is going to help more. Thick Skin, definitely. Uh, I like Privilege Status. Um, family Favorite is fine, though. Either one, doesn't matter. This one just needs, you it, You need to have Curses, and that's fine. Curses aren't hard to find. Dark Foresight is great. I think Dark Foresight is better than Olympian Favor. God's Legacy, uh, I like God's Legacy for, because I like duo boons and I like epic boons. So, that's where we're going to leave it. That's where we're going to leave it. And now, uh, as I'm thinking about what type of run I want to do, uh, it, it, this is based on preference, but I think of, um, typically I think of a, if I'm doing attack damage, the spear and the sword are the risky ones. Those are the ones that are going to be uh, you're kind of close to enemies and they're doing damage to you uh, more often than say the, well, an attack based shield build, but all these other ones tend to be a little bit better. The fist can be bad, but the fist you're, um, it's a little bit easier to dash and do some hits and then dash and do some hits to avoid damage. That's just my take. Some people might find the fist to also be very dangerous. I don't as much. But that's just my that's just my take. So today I'm gonna try I'm gonna try some some bow action. Let's just go aspect of Chiron, um, and then when I'm thinking about aspect of Chiron, I'm just thinking about what what sorts of attacks do I want to do. This is not a cast build, right? Chiron doesn't do anything for casts, so I might be thinking, well, let's get let's get Artemis on our special for just huge numbers. Um, as far as heat goes, don't worry about heat if you're still learning. You're still working on heat stuff that's no no big deal just kind of take whatever and and keep keep working your way up um, i have a heat guide um, that you can check out if you'd like so let's just jump into it i'll explain every single boon pack that i find and we'll kind of go through and just discuss kind of the, the higher level thinking stuff that we're going for so really what i want here more than anything is none of these i want the special i really want the special so i'm gonna roll here Deadly Flourish. Oh, I took, um, I took, oh, what's it called? What's this one called? Faded Persuasion, which means that instead of rolling, instead of rolling rooms, you're rolling boon packs. And what I like about that is that you, um, you have a higher chance. You, you don't get to control where everything goes, um, but it does, you, you do, I feel, get a little bit more control over, um, what you find. In a, in a more tangible sense, right? You can already determine which boons, uh, which boon types you get by picking those keepsakes. So I think that it's all right to take uh, Fate of Persuasion. It's a little bit easier. Um, yeah. There I took a palm instead of a heart um, because I kind of want to power up a boon first. Um, powering up your boons is very important, getting as much damage on them as possible. Hearts are important too, but uh, I would say there I didn't have a choice, so you know. So that's that's that. Oh wow, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of purple balls. You kind of want to kill those guys before they summon their buddies. Okay, here we've got Ares or coins. Um, I don't I don't really know 
uh, why I would take Ares in this situation or what it would do. I guess you get more damage on attacks. You, there's some boons that... The, the thing about Ares that I always think about is that he's kind of a curse-based um, god, whereas Artemis is an, is an attack or special damage-based god, if you're using attack and special, obviously. Um, whereas Ares applies a curse. So all the things that pump up your attack or special damage um, don't really work if you get Ares as a primary tier one um, boon. That that being said, though, there are a couple that are pretty good with Ares. Gold is great because it's super flexible and uh, solid that way. We're already doing really, really, really good damage. Okay, so... All right, none of these are really great. Uh, my thinking here, I'm, I'm not going to use Slicing Shot because I want my cast stones to stick for the extra damage for my special and attack. Blade Dash is fine. It's decent damage. I might just grab Ares Aid. Um, it's a vulnerability, and it's a little bit of damage. I, I, don't love, I don't love that very much, but there it is. It's okay. Sometimes you just got to take the, the, you know... The, the lesser of, of three evils. Okay. This room we didn't really have a choice. Okay, Demeter. Demeter's cool. The thing that I might think about with Demeter, actually, that would be kind of fun. Um, you know, Demeter's got a pretty interesting legendary. And so I might think about going for Demeter's legendary, honestly. See, I like the other... The other call's a little bit better because you can use... Your abilities. Now I know that like Poseidon, so I, you know, Poseidon is one of my favorite, <laughs> Poseidon's one of my favorite uh, calls and he's the same way. You, you can't, uh, you can't control, you can't, you can't use your regular attacks and whatnot. So I don't know. I, I just like, I guess I like the way Poseidon feels. It's, it feels better. Ares is not particularly fun, in my opinion. Okay, we just want to keep pumping up the special. The special is our is our primary source of damage. Once again, gold, very flexible. Um, it if it uh, can I get this, please. If you're not really sure what to take, gold is usually a decent option. Nothing wrong with gold. It just provides a lot of healing. It provides a lot of um, you know whatever you need. Whatever you need, it, it provides. So we have 346 gold here. The key is nice because it gives me a reroll in the future, but I actually want to grab um, the mid shop. Uh, so this will give me another chance at a boon. Honestly, now what I'm going for, I didn't know this starting out. I didn't know this starting out, but I do really want to find Demeter's Legendary now. Uh, okay, so there's Artemis there. Let's grab this hammer actually. Let's, let's, not, let's not worry about that. Uh, flurry shot. Chain shot. It's too bad that we didn't find a special uh, buff here because our special is our primary damage source. However, chain shot is cool uh, because it applies chill, and then if we get Demeter's, if we get Demeter's um, legendary, then we'll be killing enemies. We'll be uh, culling striking, culling strike enemies. Normally, I would take. I think I think flurry shot or twin shot or maybe more powerful, but I like the idea of getting lots of enemies with. Um, with chill on them. That seems that seems good. Seems good to me. Crazy. Um, okay, pressure points. Pressure points is not not super great. What what would we want from her though? That's maybe that's another maybe that's another question. Um, uh, really what I would, I would prefer to have a bunch of other things, like Hunter's Mark would be awesome. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, we don't really have, <laughs> we don't really have anything that we'd get a duo boon for at this point. We don't really have a duo boon on our minds. So I would actually maybe roll this. Pressure points isn't bad, but 4%, you know, I don't know. There's not, we'll, we'll just roll one time. Okay, clean, clean kill is, is fine. Zeus, huh? Uh, Zeus, Zeus isn't really interesting. I want more Demeter. I want a tier two Demeter boon so that we can start looking for that legendary. Okay, so for this, I want to check the codex. Let's make sure that um, we are working towards this. So, Killing Freeze, Arctic Blast, 
or Ravenous Will. We need two of those. Killing Freeze. Arctic Blast. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go with Killing Freeze. Killing Freeze is very good. Especially with Chain, sh chain Shot, excuse me. Killing Freeze isn't bad either, but we're not applying stacks of chill quickly. So it's not amazing in that way. Some of those rooms are getting pretty spicy. Get, getting pretty spicy. All right, Hunter's Mark is what we're after here. Hunter's Mark is great. Okay, and then a Palm. Um, at this point, at this point, Palms are nice. Uh, palms are nice. Uh, we'll, we'll take the free, this is a free Palm, by the way, because it's, it's a shop room and you've already seen one shop, you get a mid shop in the middle of the biome, and then you might get a shop at the end. That's how you know whether or not it's a free room or not. You can also check which chamber it is, um, and that, that will also tell you. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's, let's up our Frost Strike. I like that. I like that. Okay, now you might be getting bounties still. That's great. No, no decisions to be made there, though. And let's just see how quickly we can beat Electo. I do have a guide for a Megara, but I don't have a guide for Electo yet. Basically, with this is I'll just give you a little little basic guide for her. She, um, oops, <laughs> she you just want to deal damage to as quickly as possible, um, and especially she just gets more and more dangerous as she goes. She summons these blade rifts, but as so long as you're far away from her, once again, once again being. Uh, once again, being... Whoops. Wow. Woo! Okay, we got a Death Defiance loss. That's too bad. Um, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, losing a Death Defiance is a bummer. But yeah, just stay away from her and those uh, those little Blade Rift things that she that she sends out. She does, uh, she does hit... You know, she has a melee attack that you want to be careful of as well. But, I don't know. Nothing really crazy there. All right, Demeter. We need one more Demeter. We could pay for this, but I think I like I like Light of Ixion a lot because we're using anytime you're using an attack or a special based build, or even a cast based build, if it's not curse, if it's not a curse build, like lightning, I guess lightning isn't a curse, but it, it doesn't doesn't really count. Um, if it's not a curse based build, like Ares or Dionysus, um, then Chaos has a really good chance at being very, very good. Um, Chaos does provide cast damage bonus as well, uh, which is great. Now, Hermes Hermes is also very good. It's a bummer, but Chaos is um, Chaos has the highest potential to give us really amazing stuff, so that's why we're taking Chaos. Okay. None of these are great. However, I kind of want... Actually, I like this boons have an 18% chance to be better, rare or better. One for one, because cast, we're not using our cast right now. We don't need to worry about the, the health uh, damage. And boons being having a chance to be rare or better is great because we're looking for that legendary. That's really what we're going for. So um, I'm, I'm okay with that. It has no downside and it just provides, uh, provides some good stuff. Okay, now here we've got health, money, or Eurydice. Now Eurydice is a free room, so... You, it will take no time to get through the room. If you, so if you're worried about the timer, if you've set the timer, or if you're working on improving your speed, that's always the room you want to go to. Um, it also is very good because it can palm four. It can palm four of your boons. It can increase the rarity of um, two of your boons, or it can make the next three boons you find have increased uh, rarity, which is exactly what we want because we want to find Demeter and we want to find. Um, her legendary. That is like the goal of this run now. Like it's it's the one thing that we really really want. Now, are we guaranteed to get it? Of course not, but this will up our chances. So I'll show you which one we take. Get to listen to her sing a little bit. That's great. Uh, okay, it's refreshing nectar. So three boons have upgraded rarity. That does increase your chances at getting legendary so long as you're eligible for it. Now it's not gonna it's not gonna give us a legendary if we're not eligible for it, but if we are, it just ups the chances that we do find that uh, legendary. So or even the rarity rarity one. Rarity is really important on those types of builds. Less so on none of these are good. 
We don't care about any of these. Kiss of Sticks would be nice, but we can't afford it. And we definitely want Demeter. Um, yeah. If you use your cast, you get bonus damage on your attack and special. You should definitely, definitely uh, grab those. I think I, I think Ravenous Will is what we want here, but I'm gonna just gonna double check because I don't, you know, I check these because I forget immediately um, because my brain uh, is small. <laughs> All right, Ravenous Will. Here we go. Uh, when I have no, this is this is a good boon anyway. Uh, damage bonus and three percent, or sorry, ten percent less damage when I have no. When I have no uh, cast stones, which with Stygian Soul is very easy because you just have one cast stone. So you can get rid of it easily. Now I'm not going to use it now because I'm cursed. And if I, t if I use it, I will lose 10, uh, 5 health, I should say. Not 10 health. Which is great. So we got some money. I don't think, we didn't have a choice there. It was money or nothing. Here's money or Hermes. Hermes, I think, is so good. Hermes has the chance to give you some really, really incredible boons. Also, it's nice that we have refreshing nectar. Um, from Eurydice when we go into a Hermes room because Hermes has a lower chance at getting giving you high rarity boons. So you're most when you're looking at Hermes, you're almost always going to see common rarity boons um, unless you have some way that you've pumped it up. And there is no keepsake that gives you bonus rarity uh, for Hermes boons. So that's one other reason why uh, Refreshing Nectar is pretty good. So you get high rarity Hermes boons, which... Um, Hermes also has uh, some of the best, some of the best um, things. Like for for other gods, it's like you get a little bit extra damage or something from uh, from extra rarity, and that's nice. But with Hermes, with Hermes, you can get things like like additional dashes, and then with so uh, common rarity is one additional dash, uncommon rarity is two additional dashes, so it makes it twice as good. And then you have things like like rush delivery, uh, which is awesome. See here's greater re, uh, greatest reflex, which is fantastic. Swift flourish is also amazing for us here um, in the damage department. And with this build, actually, this is tough. I, I'm I'm torn. I think greatest reflex is the safer choice because you get lots of dashes. But swift flourish also gives you a little bit of safety because I think you're most vulnerable with um, with Chiron bow when you're using your special, because it does take a while to get the special, um, to, to send off the special, right? Um, so I think because it's purple, <laughs> that's the other way you make decisions in this game, is just you you see purple boon, you take purple boon. Now I think this is free. Yeah, we're in chamber 22, so this is a free heart or a shop, and I have lots of gold. So I'm gonna go for the shop here to get Hopefully a Demeter boon, right? A Demeter boon would be great. Um, also, also a Hermes boon would, would be great. Okay, so it's a mystery bag, uh, a mystery bag. So it's basically it's going to be a boon, but we have no way of, of you know knowing which god it'll be. It could be Demeter. It could be anything else though. Um, so I don't know. Okay, Poseidon. Um, it doesn't matter. This this one really doesn't matter to me at all. I'm not gonna roll for it. Um, sunken treasure. I wish they'd given me the dash. The dash would have been sweet. But I'm gonna save my re rolls. I have two. I have one one re roll, and then um, I wouldn't be able to re roll again. So I just get one chance here for the dash. But I'm just gonna take sunken treasure. It's gold. It's a little bit of a, a discount on what what I just purchased, and then I will buy a heart. We're at 165. Um, 165 health. At the end, going into Elysium is, is not a lot. I try to get like, I don't know how much I try to get, maybe, you know, maybe closer to 200, right? Like, so now I feel pretty good. Like having having this much is just fine in my in my mind. Okay, learning fight, nothing really crazy about the EM2 learning fight. In fact, many people consider it to be easier than the other one. I mean, you just have to avoid lava. But in all other ways, it's easier because uh, because the heads are closer together. Which maybe maybe some people find that difficult. I actually, most, most builds have some form of AoE, so it's okay for them to be close together. And you just, you can kill the heads faster when they're all close together like this, right? Okay, 
got who got the maxed out call, so I just I just I just don't like it very much. Like it's 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 fine, but I just I also feel like I I end up in like vulnerable positions because I think I'm invulnerable and I'm not and I'm you know Yeah, I, I should really be using my my cast stone regularly, but you know, I don't <laughs> I don't do it. Don't you know don't follow my example on, on that one by any means. Okay, I just felt like my room was super yellow and I realized why it's because I've got my, my overhead light on. That's okay. You know what? You'll forgive me. I think you'll I think you're gonna forgive me. I get this I get this inkling that you'll forgive me. Now okay, so there's there's a lot of different things we can do here. If if you struggle with the um the the fight against Asterius and Theseus, which very understandably, if if you do, um, I would grab Evergreen Acorn. I think that's the best one for you, unless you have no Death Defiances. If you have zero Death Defiances at this point, take Lucky Tooth because it gives you a Death Defiance and it just increases your likelihood of getting to that fight. Um, I don't feel too terrible about that fight. It is EM4, so I will be fighting the advanced version of this. Fine, I'll take Evergreen Acorn, because I, I want to make sure I get to the end of this run. Uh, I don't need to sell anything. I can afford a Kiss of Sticks. Now, it, there is some logic to not taking Kiss of Sticks in the hopes of finding Patroclus, right? So we get Patroclus, and then this would be 200 gold wasted. I do want to get this uh, Chimera Jerky. I will buy that for sure. That's six chambers with... Huge special damage. You know what? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble and hope, hope that I find Patroclus, okay? Or Patroclus. Pat. We're gonna call him Pat, okay? Don't judge me in the comments for the way I pronounce Greek names, all right? Uh, well, I mean, you can't, I guess. You do, do what you want, right? I don't get to decide what people do and don't do. That's not... I'm not the... I'm not the... I'm not the police of, of your... Of your behavior. What do we have here? Uh, we'll take support fire. I don't really care about any of these. Hunter dash is, is great. Mm. Hunter dash is more damage, I think. You know what? We'll take hunter dash. Hunter dash isn't the best, uh, the best dash ever, but it's it's fine. We're, we're gonna take chaos again. The hammer is nice, but I think the game will is very likely to give me a hammer again because the game wants you to have wants you to have a hammer. This is a bummer. These are all these are all bummers. Uh, we could go with enshrouded ambush. The only problem with that is that we no longer get to see we don't we no longer get to get to make decisions. So arguable that that's not not a very good idea. Very, very arguable, especially when you're looking for something very specific. The beetles say, okay, upgrade our frost strike. What's nice about that, if it if you get, ooh, Light of Ixian again, interesting. Well, I mean, it's nice to have the option. Let's just buy it. Um, if you get a, a nectar and you, you, know, you weren't sure what those boon rooms were going to be, if you get a nectar or a darkness or a key, you know that you wouldn't have had the option for a boon anyway. So you can feel better about it. However, here, it's very likely that we are... <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is this we could have chosen we could have could have chosen Demeter there. And that would have been very nice to be able to do that. Um Poseidon, doggone it. I want Poseidon. Uh, we'll just go with hydraulic might there. Alright, we'll take we'll take the chaos. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a bummer, you know, when you're when you're trying to make decisions or you're trying to talk about decision making, it's not a good idea to take the one that makes it so you can't see anything. I'm not going to do this. Even though I want 74 health, I really do. I, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll go with this attack damage. And then I believe, yeah, now we'll be able to see our our boon rooms again. Whoa, right into the, right into the purple arrow. Very cool. Okay. Um, Hermes for sure. Like I said, Hermes is really great. It looks like we have a little life, but that's just because we're cursed by chaos at the moment. It's not. It's not a permanent, uh, permanent thing. Right. Okay. What do we got? 
what do we got? Hyper Sprint. Hyper Sprint's great if just for the it's just for the fact that you could get um, the other the other Hermes boon, rush delivery, and then suddenly you're doing huge amounts of damage. Okay. Once again, our special damage is our bread and butter for this build. Big time. Hydrolite's really good. Low on low on cash. Okay. We are we are at the final chamber, so we did not see Demeter. However, we could see her in the shop. Here's hoping. Nope. I'm not gonna buy an Aries boon because I don't want it. Critical effects deal more damage is good. That's that's it's good damage. <laughs> it's good good bonus damage. Just use that right away. What's great about the Achilles uh, Patroclus Antos one is that you can't miss. And especially in this fight, it's great. Ooh, that was a bummer. Okay, we've run, we've, we've used up. Oh no, we have one more. We have one more. That was our shield. So long. One annoying thing about the chariot is that, oh, oh, we got hit by the purple, purple thing. So we are in a bit of trouble now. We have lost a death defiance, another death defiance, I should say. Okay. So in this situation, in this situation, we absolutely should have taken family favorite. Um, rather than the privileged status, because we are not inflicting two curses. tough fight. It's a tough fight. Pretty much every time I, I do it, it's it's uh, it, it reminds me how, how tough it is. Okay, so may not get the legendary, but but uh, but we might. <laughs> it's possible. I think the acorn is still best. Um, it is. There is a, a decent argument to take Lucky Tooth, um, or even to take eh, probably not Athena. Not Athena because if we had more Athena in our boon pool already that would be great but we don't i will take this kiss of sticks that's that's fantastic okay that solves some of our problem but it was expensive okay, so in the temple here we should be guaranteed to get oh there's no demeter i was hoping there'd be demeter we're not going to get the the legendary that's okay that's okay um i was thinking that we would get a hammer usually the game is very very persistent in trying to give you hammers there i took the palm just because really Neither Artemis or Ares will give me much that 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 does anything for me. I mean, Ares maybe, and Artemis maybe, but like for the most part, for the most part no. Oh wow, we got him. Uh, just go with clean kill, I guess. None of those are really gonna do a whole lot. It's there's little per percentage based increases, but nothing too crazy. Let's go Ares, I guess. Ares has a couple boons that affect your uh, attack and special damage. Trying to remember to use my cast and failing. Failing sometimes. Okay, uh, Battle Rage. Battle Rage is fine. Okay. The game just really wanted to give me a lot of Ares and a lot of uh, Artemis, honestly. Which, the Ares and Artemis... Uh, legendary boons and, and duo boons are a little, are, you know, they're maybe geared in a different direction than what we wanted to go with in this, in this build, and that's okay. Okay. Yeah, let's just get, get some bonus healing to top ourselves up. Oh, you know what? That's great. That's fine. Okay. 
Right. Now, we have two Death Defiances. We're full health. Maybe I should check uh, we could buy... We can buy... Buy a Palm, a Super Palm. Let's do that. Yeah, why not? Exactly. Let's go Ares Aid, actually. Well... 17% bonus. I don't know, that's... 17% is pretty... Pretty poor. We'll go Ares Aid. Makes it a little bit a little bit more spicy to use our to use our call. Not much, but a little. We will be using it a lot in this fight. Um, usually in an EM4 Hades fight, I you know, you can use your call easily, you know. Nine, ten times. <laughs> I mean like it it's a long fight and you're doing a lot of damage. And he's doing a lot of damage usually. Which is you know, rough. It's rough. Okay. Now you want to just make sure you remember you have those acorn. Uh, and there's one. You, just, you want to try to avoid what I just did there, which is lose two. Lose two uh, acorn charges with something dumb like uh, like a shockwave. Like, that's okay, because that's, you know, that's a fair amount of damage. Okay. All right, we're now, we're now at, you know. Okay, now, if you get boiling blood, you run away. You run away until until you uh, lose it. But there, I, I did take a hit there. Okay. So we had the max call there. So we did a lot of damage with the max call, to be honest with you. Our damage is okay. It's not. It's not really amazing though. It, it could have been a lot better. They do, uh, <laughs> just, he has so much health. It's rough if you don't have uh, a bunch of death defiances when you get to the before you get to the sec second phase. However, the first phase is the hardest one for Hades, in my opinion, because of all the adds. So now we have no more adds to deal with, but we do have pots and we do have um, the laser occasionally and him healing. But honestly, the laser is not bad. You've got lots of ways to deal with that. This is actually pretty nice, because he's just going to stand still for a minute here. And he's going to break all of his own pots. You'll have to see it. Oh, no! <laughs> That's the worst. That's the worst situation. I just... I, I mistimed my... Uh, where my... Where my call was in terms of the damper. In terms of the timer. You don't want to do that. Do this while we wait. Okay. There was an argument to be made for making sure I got a shot off so that I could hide behind the pillar and do damage. You know, make oh, wow. That was silly. The, the damage is okay, but it's just it's just not good enough in my opinion. For losing losing all that stuff. <laughs> this is such a hard fight, man. <laughs> it's so hard. I totally understand anyone who doesn't What? Oh I got hit by a pot, didn't I? 
So this is dangerous. It's very dangerous to lose to lose the death defiance at that point. Oh. Not have to not have all your all your death defiances and whatnot. Ooh. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we lost. Okay. <laughs> so we, we took a gamble there and tried to use our call and uh, and kill him that way. EM4, very difficult fight, as as you can see. But that's kind of a rundown of, of some of the decisions that I make and why I make them uh, in Hades. Just some of my thought process. I hope it was helpful. If it was, uh, you know, maybe maybe let me know. I it's uh, this is a fun game, but it's a challenging game, and there's a lot of decisions to be made, and there's lots of different types of runs. You could you could say that what we just did was kind of like a mid a mid tier. Uh, uh, you know, meh. it depends. It depends on who you're talking to. But it, this was, in my mind, kind of a mid, a mid range heat setting, right? Twenty three. Um, anything above, anything thirty two or above, I consider like your high heat runs. Like you're playing in a very different way uh, when you're doing a high heat run. And it's certainly not a speed run, which is kind of another option that you have. And there's lots of strategies for speed runs. But, um, but yeah, mid mid range heat run. That's what I would do. I might not put on Extreme Measures 4. If I'm trying to if I'm trying to win, if I'm trying to get all my bounties, I wouldn't take Extreme Measures 4. I probably would just do Extreme Measures 2. And then I might throw on, I don't know, a couple other things to make it to, you know, to get up to 20. You really don't have too far to go to get up to 20. Underworld Customs is is fine. Um, maybe a couple levels of jury summons or, you know, something like that. That would be totally, totally doable for most weapons, I'd say. Benefits package can get a little spicy, but I don't know. You could also go forced overtime and maybe lose one level of benefits package. That's that's also good. But anyway, friends, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.